afternoon. Hope you're well. This is uh, Bilty's Business Book Review number three. And I've bought myself a new microphone, although I haven't worked how to use it yet because I'm doing lots of kind of stuff on uh, using, you know, videos and whatever. So I thought I'd invest in that. I think it's working, but I'm not sure. I'm going to check that later. Anyway, today's book is a fantastic book that really opens your eyes. It's not just about business. It's about the role that business plays in society. It's around the things that we take for granted, which we're probably not taking quite as for granted right here, right now, as we did before. Things like governments know what they're fucking doing um, is uh, the kind of thing that you makes you kind of question things. And this book uh, by a guy called Hai Ju Chung, Chang, sorry, uh, is, uh, is a Cambridge professor. And uh, he has come up with a wonderful title, um, 23 Things They Don't Tell You About Capitalism. And these, these are the kind of base tenets that, of the society that we live in. And the kind of things, the, the themes in it, there are 23 different areas. You can read them one at a time. You can read it all, all in one. So the, the, the things are um, kind of preconceptions um, that he challenges. And these things like, there is no such thing as a free market. People say, we're well, a free market economy and entrepreneurism is fantastic. Actually, actually, most of what we have as entrepreneurial zeal is a lot of the technology that underpins it was done by government. A lot of the uh, actual kind of uh, IP was developed by us paying out of our taxes and then it's monetized by companies. Um, thing number two, and you can see why it resonates uh, with a Marxist capitalist. Uh, companies should not be run in the interest of their owners. And this is the reason why. And he's an economist. And he's a world-class economist of why it's not a good business to run your business in the interest of the owner. Um, thing five, just a, a, as an example. Assume the worst about people and you get the worst. We kind of know that. In, uh, but to have an economist to come out and do empirical data to prove that that's the thing um, is, is fabulous. And this is a relatively small book. It's a paperback that I got uh, a few years ago. And, and then at the front, he, he says, seven ways to read. I don't think you'll be able to see that. Blah, there you go. Seven ways to read this book. And these are other overarching themes. So if you want to know things, you can dive to read it all. You can read these chapters and it tells you why. So if you're not even sure what capitalism is, which most people kind of aren't, um, you read those chapters. If you think politics is a waste of time, read chapters 1, 5, 7, 12, 16. If you've been wondering why your wife, uh, your wife, your life does not seem to get better despite ever rising incomes, read these chapters. If you think some people are richer than others because they are more capable, better educated and more enterprising, read these chapters and it'll tell you that isn't the case at all. It's entirely down to us as to uh, how we can do it with support, with guidance, with mentoring and all that kind of stuff. But there is no preordained right that those at the top get it and everybody else doesn't. It's, we, we have the ability and th this is in there. So it's, uh, the last w uh, way is if you think the world is an unfair place, but there's nothing much can be done about it, read like, quite a lot of chapters. And that's where it opens your eyes to a whole different way of viewing the world. And I really strongly recommend that you read it. I'd love to meet this guy sometime. Uh, he'll be able to tell me how to pronounce his name right again. Uh, Hajun, I'm guessing. Um, and it... I've, re I've really enjoyed rereading it. As you know, I turn over the pages and I, I highlight things. You know, it's blowing out a bit colour-wise, but I highlight it all and it gives me a chance to reread them quite quickly. Um, but it refresh it re it's refreshingly pertinent at these challenging times that we find our way through to think there is a different way that we can run things. There is a way that uh, we as individuals can reinvent ourselves. And we are all going to have to coming out of this. It's going to be a different world that we come out of. Um, but there's great opportunities as well. And having the time, furloughed or otherwise, to read books like this 
and to reinvent yourself and reinvent the uh, business that you work in for or are creating. Um, it, it's a moment that none of us will get back uh, again, so let's make the most of it. Anyway, hope you're keeping safe, hope you're keeping um, well, and uh, if you want to get any more Bilti's business book reviews, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, I'll uh, bring another one tomorrow. Take care. Bye.